Hi there. Here I'm back with a wee quick one handed thing for a canvas that I'm doing. Uh, earlier on this morning I put some texture on this canvas. It was just a blank canvas as I showed you. But there I've got a wee spare one and I'll show you it. It's not mounted or anything and it's not in a square because I think the person I'm giving it to can mount it whatever way they want, if they want to mount it. They might not, so I think for postage I'll keep it flat. Um, I put some texture on the base. Excuse me to focus it. I put some tissue. It actually was the first and second ply off the of napkins. I put various different strings and threads on at the sides. This is some um, of the hessian flowers. That's some of the leaves of the hessian flowers. And I have gave it a coat of gesso on top of everything. And I'm just at this minute in time giving it another wee coat of gesso. I don't know if you can see, see the colours in the string there. Stupid idea, I know. I used a coloured string. But this is the first time I've done a multimedia canvas. And I actually just didn't think. So see that's me at my best. I didn't think. I didn't think that the wee coloured bit would shine through. But don't worry about it. We'll overcome it. We'll get rid of it. Even if it takes a couple of coats of gesso, well, that's all right. No, any great big hurry for anything. So yes, I'm just coating it with gessos. Then I have my glimmer mists. Made these a couple of years ago. See when I made those over there, my watercolour tubs. In fact, I might use some of the watercolour tubs to give it a first lick of paint, coat of colour. Because these have all, I mean this is midnight blue. This is my turquoise sparkle. Sorry to let you see it. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, see it. See the my can it? I'll do it again. These have my can them. These are like your glimmer sprays. And these have lasted me a few years. In fact, as I said the other day, look at this one, this is gorgeous. See it? It's not mixed up properly. That's shining sandstone. That is a sandstone pigment. Mixing the water and I'm, I've got gold mica and a binding agent in there as well. So it's stunning. I did have a lovely purple one, but as I said the other day, we've been building a bar out the back door. I'm now converting my summer house into a bar and I did have a lovely purple one. It was a beautiful colour. But they wanted that to paint into the bar. So what they done was they made the bar themselves. And I'll probably show you. Here's the purple here. Purple glow. It's a beautiful colour. Oh, you might. It's just maybe too dark to see. Let me see if I've got a wee piece of card or something. That's up at the time that I don't. Yeah, let's have a look at this. This is spray thingies. Eh, no. No spray. See the beautiful colour that is. But there's mica in it and you'll not be able to see it because it's wet. It has got, I'm sure it's silver. It might be gold but it's got one mica in it anyway. Anyway that's what they used. That bottle was full and as you can see now there's hardly anything left in it. What we done was we got the wood and we actually watered down the pigment there and I put extra pigment in it and we watered it down um, so that it was like a wash and we washed all the wood with that colour but the mica still comes through, the mica still shines through and then once all that was dry it was given a coat of varnish and it's lovely, it's still sparkly it's still, you can still see the mica in it and it's really nice this is starting to colour over now, it's starting to cover the string. 
without losing the detail because I'm quite sure you can still see all the detail in there. But I won't be posting these videos till after the person has received this. So we'll see. When I was giving the wee tour in my room earlier on, I dare not show under my table, but I'll give you a quick look. Look, under my table, that's that table. And then there's all my vinyl for my scanning cut and my cricket machine. There's all my drawers there with the punches in. And there's boxes there with lights for my cards and all sorts of stuff. Loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff. But I can't say, there's only certain things that I can say I have not used. Because on the whole, everything I get, I use. I must admit, though, those, some of the stamps that I've bought, I was just going daft and buying stamps, and I really shouldn't have. Because as much as I like them, I don't really use them that much. And my children, you know, and my, my school and that, they use stamps, but they, they use different type of stamps, you know. They use ones that appeal to them. The children in primary 6 and primary 7, they can use the stamps and they can create their image and things like that. But the younger children tend to stick to animals and things, you know. So I don't use the stamps much with them. And my other adults, they don't tend to do stamping. They like to do colouring and other different things. Anyway, I'm prattling on now. This is the start to the canvas. So, as I said, this is my first mixed media actual piece, so I'll see what it looks like when it's finished. But once I've given it a coat of the sprays, the glimmer mists, I'll come back and let you see it. Okay. Right. Thanks for now. Like and, su like and subscribe, please, folks. Share the love. Um, I hope you're enjoying this glorious weather we're all getting, and hope to see you again in the next video. Thanks. Bye.